we now know that Benezia's here. Oh, I think I know what we're going to be running into, Welcome guys. To the galaxy's most respected mm. site for independent scientific research and development. Well, we'll get back to for that. Safety, but um, this mission, guys, is actually mega important. If you've never played this game, this mission that we're doing right now could decide if you have the rest of the series as a whole. So yeah, Thank you. And I'll explain that a little later. But first things first, let's get some clearance. Businesswoman. I bet they did. This oh, hello. One offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Yeah. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. Yeah, because they don't want this people to stiff around their business. Ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. Oh. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Smuggling, of words. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I'll yeah. think about it and get back to you. This one. Right, that one, um, none of a cent. I got a bad feeling that he's smuggling something he shouldn't be smuggling. I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. Shouldn't be talking to you. Eh, have you noticed? No one likes me. What else is new? Right, where have I got to go? Uh, that's a shop. Ah, oh, there it is. Let me have a straight office. It's down the bottom level. So, yeah, I am not liked. Why am I not surprised? But then again, guys, like I said before, I'm a spectre. Nobody wants, you know, authorities like me sniffing around. Now, are you going to cooperate and let me through, or am I going to have to bully my way through? Let's hope we don't have to go through the bullying part. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas. Yes, what, what? Commander oh, it's a Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. <laughs> yeah, it's a Solarian from the sounds of that. It's Solarian figures. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space born vagabonds. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. <laughs> Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Opold wants me to smuggle a package through security. I need more than your word to act on that. Bring me whatever he's smuggling, and I'll act accordingly. I'll look into it and get back to you. I appreciate your report. <laughs> I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Excuse me, his what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. What did you mean by personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commando, you didn't think that odd. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking <laughs> Great. So now we know we got commandos to, fa to face off. I'd like to see her immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. 
If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. Typical. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen Right, he's a bit of a little bit of dick. Right, so we can... You know Mr. what? You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. Yeah, so that's it would true. Seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. Talk All to right. you later. Very well. Right. As far as the smuggling goes, I'm gonna smuggle for that guy because that guy is a freaking asshole. And I hate politicians and bureaucracy crap. I mean, come on, guys. You, you have any you guys to deal with bureaucracy crap every so often? Yeah, it's a pain in the bloody ass. But you know what? I'm gonna help smuggle this guy some um, shit in. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? Yeah. All right, I'll help. This one humbly thanks the specter. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? I'm just browsing right now. This one. Hmm. Right, so let's look at this one. This one's a Simon one. Smuggle in. Retrieve the package. You agree? It's packages we left outside the Normandy. So we gotta go back down to Normandy, grab it, come back, and then give it to him. Yeah. I would do it with him, but to be honest, the way he's being treated me like a freaking asshole. Yeah, I might as well help out the, uh, the Hanna. Well, a little renegade never hurts. And besides, this one's a quickie. It's not a fast mission. The hotel bar, huh? So that's where the other guy is. I agree. I agree on that, um, my dear. Right. Let's get this package. Oh, there it is. Right, so let's check the map where he is, this barman. Um, I think he's on the top floor. Yeah, I don't like the fact you've got drones. Yeah, nope. Nope, can't talk to you. So let's give him this package and then we'll look at the hotel bar for him. No more comments. You know what, guys? Most lifts we have conversations, but in this lift you don't for some bizarre reason. But yeah. I was hoping for some more conversations in these two to see what, you know, he says thinks about, you know, Benezia's mother and the Asari commandos. Sorry for commandos. Jesus, they're gonna be a pain in the ass to fight. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought yep. the package? Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of life, it thanks you. It thanks me. I still find them creepy. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Okay, let's would try you and get to... have any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. <laughs> the other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. 
this one could raise the sum oh, of 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. That's better. That's thoughtful of you. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. Yep. I'm now that that's settled, we can now go to the hotel bar. Right. I think it's on this level, is it? Uh, there's the garage. There's the Mako. Uh, where's this one go? It's a hotel elevator. Yeah, we need that one. So we need to go down here and take the elevator. I'm on duty, Spectre. Yeah, but if I want to talk to you and ha have words about your superiors, you might have to. But anyway, let's get to the um, hotel bar. Public terminal? Oh, there's nothing there. Right. This is the hotel. No one here. I don't get it. Why are all these businessmen here to begin with? I know they're here for their um, personal gains. You know, illegal experiments and all that. I mean, come on, let's be honest. You're out in the frozen world where no one can get to you. And you pay off bureaucracy crap. So that kind of explains a few things like, like that. Here we are. The hotel bar. Okay, let's see this gentleman, see if we can get... Excuse me. Oh, Alright, what the do you want? The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. <laughs> do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That <laughs> makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity. Or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my... real intentions. Okay. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. <laughs> Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari Biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. Oh, we want to great. assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. All right. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Oh, hey, brief us quickly. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. All right. see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Okay, so we got two jobs. This is the guy we gotta see first, but sort of we'll see actually. But this is the one we really want to talk to. Can I help you, hmm? Mr. Vargas? Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Military. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Alliance contracted to Mars Gene for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We 
we can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response. 12% Jesus, he's got a lot of chat about it, isn't it? CG muscle degeneracy. <laughs> I've never heard of a technique that improves zero gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. Artificial gravity? We're still waiting for tests to okay. give us average improvement. He estimated 7 to 11 a little bit interesting, but a little bit worrying. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Mm -hmm. How would you distribute the upgrades? Retroviral injections would take some time. Well, it does take time to upgrade a body with adjusted DNA. Skin cells could be replaced in two weeks, but the liver takes over a year, and the skeleton a decade. Hey, Jesus. For frontline units, we can speed the process with full system transfusions and injections to stimulate regrowth. It would still take six months to see results. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. Does Binary Helix have any less than above board projects? I'll keep my source confidential. Certainly not. Our corporate reputation is sterling. I can assure you all of Binary Helix's operations on Novaria are strictly on the level. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. <laughs> well, that works. We use the Alliance. I don't probably get, like, Balls out by hacking, but it will work. Here you go. The toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Nah, yeah, I'm not gonna push my luck. That'll do nicely. I'll be going now. As will I. Well, hopefully we can get Good something out of her. Yeah, that was plus two renegade, but come on, I like a little renegade now and then. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? Mm -hmm. What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? Yeah. I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. Well, I'll have to do some view. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. <laughs> I sense right. a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Yep. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Sounds good. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. <laughs> they're crooked. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do <laughs> <laughs> 